Exactly what the hustlers are relying on. They intend to fleece the customers of this bar and be long gone before the clientele realise anything's wrong. Dressed smartly in black and white outfits, this scam is all about speed. They have to be in and out of the bar in a matter of minutes. Any longer than that, the bar staff will get suspicious and the hustlers will be rumbled. As they enter the bar, the clock is ticking. So late. They immediately begin to work on the side of the room that can't be seen from the main serving area. Are you alright folks? Hi, I'm Paul, I'm the manager here. Everything okay? Um, we have a cloakroom here. Do you mind if I ask you to put your stuff in our cloakroom? Just because we have a lot of thefts, especially this week, so the police are asking us to keep everything safe. Is that okay? It sounds plausible. The new initiative will help reduce crime, and today there's no charge. It's usually a pound an item, we'll call it free tonight, okay? Uh, 167, yeah? The customers okay, are given thanks. a token so they can collect their belongings later. Excuse me folks, I'm the manager here. Everything okay? Um, we're having a little bit of problem with theft in the area, especially this week. Would you mind if you put your stuff in our cloakroom? This is much safer and for our insurance purposes would make me a lot happier to know everything's safe. Would that be okay? Just your coats, your bags, anything that people would go for. We lost a couple of bags this week as well. Alex has an armful of coats it's and he needs to get out of there fast. If he walks out of the front door, he may get spotted, so he slips out through the back exit. It'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> While Jess collects the next table's coats and bags, Alex escapes out of the fire exit and takes the coats to the mobile club room. Back in the hustle van. Believing their belongings will be secure, the customers hand over their coats without emptying their pockets, their bags containing their personal details. I can take that for you as well, that's no problem. And even their shopping. Jess can't carry any more. But just as she's about to leave, the staff member appears. Jess manages to slip out of the door unnoticed. The waitress plots Paul. Fortunately, she's too busy serving to question what he's doing. Weighed down with half a dozen coats and bags, Jess manages to avoid any further staff encounters and makes her get away. Uh, that just number? leaves Paul. 78. But he's gone to uh, be quick. 162. Are you okay for... That's it. He's out of there. In just under three minutes, they've managed to swipe the coats and bags of nearly everyone in the bar. 